welcome 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 cancers I want to say thank you for being here thank you for being back thank you for the wonderful like shares and support um, let's look and see what is coming up for you cancer so um, the ten of emotions the knight of uh, pentacles with a family situation what is happening what is transpiring so I see you um, cancers are dealing with uh, um, a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person um, that you're connected with a family you could make it uh, um, yeah deciding to yeah take this person on as your family um some sort of a worrisome situation and conflicts that you were having with this young Taurus Virgo or Capricorn they're finding out the truth about this young Taurus Virgo or Capricorn and I see um some sort of a new story could be coming up for you cancers then we are looking at worries and problems so what is transpiring is that a lot of you cancer could be moving forward or could be traveling back home to your family so i see um uh some of you um financially you could be moving forward with your business um, but I see some of you are going to be moving back home with your family. So cancers, whatever is happening and transpiring, I see some sort of a problem. It's just is going to be coming up and you cancers are going to be moving back home with your family. Um, in your foundation, I see some of you cancers wants a new start um, or wants a new start with a young Taurus or a Capricorn person. Is This is going to come in up. I see some sort of a communication with this person. You wanted to communicate with this person. This person do not want any communication with you. So I see a lot of you cancer, some sort of an issue problem um, from the past is coming back and uh, you are dealing with some sort of a Taurus, um, some sort of a situation with a Taurus or a Capricorn. You want a new start with this person, but this person do not want um, to reconnect. Um, whoever this uh, um, um, Leo is, uh, there is no good news for this Leo. I see that they found out uh, um, what this Leo has uh, done. I see you cancers are no longer worried. Um, uh, some of you cancers are worried about a Leo. Um, but it's as if you you're no longer worried. This Leo could be could have been your sister. It is definitely a family member. So you cancer had a family member that was a sister, and I see that this person wanted some sort of a new start, but it's not going to be coming in because um, this woman is not even seen that. Uh, um, you know, this person is not worried. Whoever this uh, fire sign person is is not worried. But they're not even seeing what is going on because they're blindfolded. They're blindfolded. They're not even seeing what is going on, that they're on the investigation. Whether this um, fire sign person is, is coming up as a Leo, it's not even realizing that they, uh, is, uh, they are blindfolded and they're not seeing what is happening. Um, so I see truth is going to be revealed about an, um, um, a whole other truth is going to be revealing. Information is going to be revealing. I see changes is coming up for a Libran. Whoever is connected with a Libran or having some sort of a legal issues, changes is going to be coming up in this year. Then I see truth is coming out about uh, the connection between a Libran and a Leo. They're going to be finding out that this Libran and this Leo are family members. People are going to be finding out. Some sort of information, some of you are trying to reconnect with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, man or woman. It is not going to be successful. I don't see. They want to connect with you. Then we see some sort of a competition, um, competition with a new start. And I see um, some of you can so want some sort of a new start, but I see um, it is not going to be here for you, whether in a relationship or whether in a job, whether in a business, it's not going to be here. They're definitely seeing that a Leo and you can serve and a Leo and a Libran are family members. And I see now they're putting the dot together and realizing what was happening and transpiring. So it is a lot that is happening. Um, there is no question about this. 
Um, this energy of the wheel of fortune is in reverse transition, huge transition is coming up for, um, you cancers in this year, huge, huge transition. They're also going to be finding out that, uh, um, you cancers along with a Leo and a Libran or all family members, you are connected to a family unit. Uh, so they're realizing that you are all family members. So whatever is transpiring, um, but this, whoever the young Taurus Virgo Cancer is, they're going to be, um, realizing what they have gotten themselves in and is going to be trying to release themselves from it. But, um, there, people are said, uh, are realizing that it is a whole family unit that was creating some sort of a problem. And they're going to be finding out there is a, no happy success for you, cancers and your family, especially um, if you can't, you know, there is no new start for a Leo. There's no victory for a Leo woman. They're, they, they're now realizing this Leo woman is so blindfolded and not is seeing what is transpiring and what is um, happening. So let, so um, a lot of you wanted some sort of a new start. It's not going to be happening. So cancers who wanted some sort of a new start in this year, it's not going to be happening because it's as if, if you are a cancer, you have a, um, a Libra sister, cousin, or that sort of a thing. They're going to be finding out that you all are family member and you all are connected and is, uh, and created some sort of a problem and issue. So, um, three times five is the energy vibration for you guys. A lot of you are dealing with a family member that is a young Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn. And I see this person is going to be ending all communication with you. So let's look in and see what is happening and transpiring. So we see um, the major arcana is coming up in the month of January. Um, June, January, June. Uh -huh. So January and June um, is where um, this issue and the situation is coming up. So January and June is when uh, um, some sort of a problem um, is going to be realized that people are going to be finding out uh, um, uh, this family unit and uh, the connection um, that you all are a family. And I see if you, they realize that you cancers are connected to a Taurus Virgo, a Capricorn person and a Leo person, they are going to be not giving um, this Leo or you guys any new start. Okay. So what we see, um, um, some sort of a car, some sort of a problem from the past is coming back to deal with. And it's as if you cancers had created some sort of an issue, some sort of a problem. And uh, I see some sort of a news in is coming up in the month of January where people have found out something what you cancers have done in the past and a whole lot of information is coming out about you cancers for something that you have done in the past. And I see um, you're no more emotionally imbalanced and I see you're no more um, worried about a Libran. It's as if, okay, it is what it is. Um, so that is coming up. In January, there's also going to be, for some of you, some sort of a competition. And I see that some of you are going to be turning your back and walking away from a competition. But you're hoping for some sort of a new start, but it is not going to be coming in for you, Cancers. You can see that here, the Fool and the Six of Wands. In, in the reverse, you were hoping for some sort of a new start for a Leo. It is not going to be coming in for a Leo and a Libran. And I see you're going to be thinking it is what it is. Now, whatever is happening and transpiring, we're looking at the month of February. This is an air energy. And the month of February is about information coming. Uh, information is going to be released. And this, and, 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 and it's as if you cancers are going to be okay. Well, it is out. So yes, it is what it is. So, um, however, this is happening and transpiring, use the, um, the videos to check out what is going to be coming up in this third quarter. I see competition, 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 conflicts, 
in the month of March. A whole lot of competition and a whole lot of conflicts. I see emotional problem for a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn person. This could be a family member, a sister, and a whole lot of conflicts and competition and problems is going to be coming up in the month of March, okay? Some sort of a cycle um, is bringing back some sort of a problem with you and someone else, so be aware of this. So when we look at the first um, three months of the year, we are seeing some sort of an issue problem in the in the past is coming back, and now you're seeing this in the future. The page of inspiration, the five of inspiration, where there is um, in um, um, news that is going to be coming in about something. People have found out something, and um, news is going to be coming in that uh, people are having competition, and you're like, I'm not looking. And I, I don't want to be in any competition with anyone, okay? We're looking at the second quarter. The second quarter have to do with information is coming in. Um, information about a young Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn person is being released. And some sort of a new start is going to be coming in for this person, whoever this person is, is between the age of 18 and 18 and 45. And I see some sort of information that this person give is going to be bringing in a new start for this person, but not for you, Cancer. So I see um, a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn person will be having a new start, Cancer, but not you, okay? Because this is, is as if the Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn person is going to be giving up some sort of information about you, Cancers, and they are going to be selling you out in order to receive some sort of a new start. So explain, expect this to happen. Um, cancers that whether the Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person is, is chosen for themselves and is going to be giving you up in the second quarter. So um, they're going to be getting out of an issue and a problem. But you are not. So be aware. Then we're looking at um, the third quarter, the second half year. And the second half we're here is dealing with family. The first half year was dealing with the Taurus Virgo Capricorn and some sort of information. And now you are going to the second half year and it's dealing with family, issues with family and problems. Now what is happening and transpiring is that... <clears throat> In the month of July, some sort of an emotional situation is now over. Some sort of an information is out. And whatever emotional situation you are carrying, it's now over. So in the month of November, you're going to be, okay, uh, you know, it is what it is. It came out. I can't, I can't um, block it or I can't take it back. It is what it is. So, um, and I see in July, your worries is going to be over, but it's, it's as if your worries is over, but you're not, the, you're blindfolded to what is going on around you in the month of July. In the month of August, issues with family. Um, Some of you, if your mom is an Aquarian, Gemini or Libran, I see some sort of an information came out about a Aries, Leo or Sagittarius person. They're finding out something about an Aries, Leo or Sagittarius person and finding out that this person is either deceptive or they're finding out what this person have done. So August is like family is going to be finding out that a family member was the one that throw you under the bus. And they're going to be aware and realizing that this family member who is a Leo is the one that has created the problems for you. This could be your mom. Um, and I see no new start is going to be coming up for your mom. So if your mom is a Leo or you were married to an Aries Leo or Sagittarius, some sort of information came out and no new start is coming up for you and this person. Then when we look at the month of September, a whole lot of you were hoping for some sort of a new start, some sort of a connection, some sort of a good news to come in. Um, from a young Taurus Virgo or Capricorn, but the news is not coming in. I see some of you are worried because you haven't heard from a child or you haven't heard whether or not you can move forward or whether or not you can overcome whatever the issue and obstacles is. 
I see an, a Leo woman is not even aware of what is happening around her. This Leo woman is blindsided and is blinded by the family and what the family had done. Or a lot of you um, is going to be uh, letting your mom uh, uh, know what was happening and what was transpiring. So I see a whole lot of this, a whole lot of situation, a whole lot of problems that is going to be happening and that is going to be transpiring. People are finding out what had happened and who these people are and how these people have created some sort of an issue. So you have in the month of uh, July's emotional situation is going to be um, over because some sort of information come out problems in August with a family. Um, um, September, um, the news you were waiting from, from a Taurus, Virgo or a Capricorn or from a, from your mom is not going to be coming in. So I see, um, you'll be, um, and the new start that you wanted for your mom is not going to be happening. So I see this is going to be transpiring. Then we are moving forward and we are looking at the last three quarter and it's, uh, um, the air energy where, um, they are investigating your mom. So if your mom is an Aries Leo or a Sagittarius, I see they are investigating your mom. I see this woman is not even aware that they are investigating her. So if your mom or your wife is an Aries Leo or a Sagittarius, they're investigating this person. This person is like their eyes are closed because they think that they are good, clear, and out of whatever they were in. And they think that everything is safe and secure. But this woman is going to have a sudden destruction in 2023 because this uh, this person is as if uh, this person closed their eyes to what exactly is happening. And I see some sort of an unexpected moment is going to be coming down with this um, fire sign person. And it's as if some of you... Um, cancer, uh, um, have this lady really fooled and blindsided. And this woman is thinking everything is okay. So you cancer could have uh, created some sort of an illusion where this Leo woman is realizing, Ooh, it's okay. Now I'm all right. Things is good. And all of a sudden this Leo woman is going to be finding out that, Hey, um, what is happening? Cause, um, you know, information came out. Some of you cancers could have given this Leo woman or this Leo woman could have given you cancer some sort of information that was not correct and was not good. And I see that you, Leo, because hair is hair in uh, October. Some sort of a worry is going to be over with a fire sign woman. However, this woman is an Aries Leo or Sagittarius. Some sort of a worry is over for this lady. And I see that this lady is not seeing clearly exactly what is transpiring. This lady uh, eyes are closed. So whoever this Aries Leo or Sagittarius is, and it is your mother or a family member, this person is not really aware of what is happening and transpiring. So the two of swords and the energy of the two of swords leaving this year with the energy of the two of swords is being blinded to what exactly and the 12th voice is being blinded to exactly what is happening and transpiring. And it's as if uh, some of you are not even realizing um, what is transpiring. You're blindsided by the situation because I see that some of you, I see this woman is going to be indecisive and the angst of not knowing the way the choices to make or feel. And um, this is going to be... Uh, Feeling like you are both between a rock and a hard place, a silent intuition. There's the many faces of the wind. So, um, whoever this air, this fire sign person is, realize that there is no, um, no two parts, two option. And one is real and one is not real. Okay. One leads to a future and one leads to faded away as potential without a form. So choices, choices, choices about decision that um, some of you and a Aries Lee or a Sagittarius person needs to find out 
what to do because i see this person is like um there was a whole lot of worries not knowing what to do not knowing what direction to go in and that sort of a thing and i see some sort of a changes some sort of a transition needs to come in in order to resolve whatever the problem is and whatever that was happening and transpiring so um it is um it's, it's, it's the change of guards that is going to be coming in um in this um year for you cancers is really a year of the changing of the guards okay so i want to say thank you for being here please like share and subscribe i love you guys namaste until next time